anytime you need to do work to a unit, whether it's setting it up and getting it out of the crate or whether you're adding new handlebars to it or whatever it is that you're doing prior to a sale, you are going to need to do an internal work order. Now I'm going to show you a couple different ways to create. There's actually a third that I'm not going to get into in this video, but the sales manager and the sales uh, rep in the actual sales department will see another way to actually create these. But here we're going to focus on the, the service department creating the thing themselves. There's, there's two ways to do this. The first is to go to serialized, locate the item, which I've done. I'm on a new unit here and I want to create a, a work order for this particular item. And actually I'm on a, hold on, I need to create, I need to locate a new unit. So we're just gonna select a new unit. And so down here at the bottom, you see that it says create work order. So the, the system will automatically go and create an internal work order for this particular unit and put the unit on it. And then all I have to do is say what I wanna do to the unit. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. We're just gonna create a work order and add a unit. Now, in addition to this, I can also come down here in the service department and we can tell it to create a new internal ticket. And then from here, we add a unit just like we do to any other service ticket, except now Lizzie knows that she's only supposed to be looking at new units because, or newer used units or demos or whatever it happens to be, but things you own instead of things customers own. So at this point, I want to add this unit. I just select add, and now I've created a, a unit or an internal ticket with that particular unit on it. So there's a, those are the two ways that you can create the, the information. Now, once you get it on here, the, the next step is you got to say what you're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and select add a job. And we can do it here or we can do it here just like on a, on a regular service ticket. You'll notice here it's already attached to the unit. The only difference between creating a job on an internal ticket and a job on a cert regular service ticket is that the internal ticket needs to know specifically what it is we're doing, whether it's installation, repair, setup, PDI, or F&I. And the reason is for tax, tax purposes when we're actually figuring the, the information on a deal, whether the items were actually installed on the unit or whether it's just a setup fee that we're charging or what have you. So at this point, I'm just gonna say that this is a setup job and we're going to say set up and you can also create templates to speed this process up but we're just going to go ahead and save the job work on the job everything else is exactly like any other service ticket um, as far up to this point you're the only difference is you have to tell it what type of job you're going to actually create on the unit 